everybody, it's Amanda from ScreenPeerMommy.co.uk I'm coming today to do a project which has been directly inspired and I said I would steal this idea on my last video <laughs> directly inspired by this lovely card sent to me by one of my customers, Natalie and I loved how she had the daisy and this banner and how it was raised up so I've totally ripped her idea off <laughs> so it's not my idea but I've taken it and I've used it to really simply decorate some beautiful gift boxes Boxes. So I'm going to show you what I've done and then I'm going to show you exactly what I did and um, these are absolutely lovely. I'm really pleased with the way that they've turned out. I love the fact that um, these mini pizza boxes that you can get from Stampin' Up are all pre-done for you so then you can concentrate on just making them look gorgeous um, now obviously lots of us can make pizza boxes ourselves it's not difficult these end up at three and a just over three and a half by three and a half. Um, however, these are pre done, you get them in a pack of eight, and um, they are glossy on one side. Let me just show you one. They, so they're all they come all, all done like that, see, and then this side is glossy and that side is matte. I've chosen to fold mine and have the matte side out. So the glossy side's really good, like it's like a high gloss, so that'd be really nice on the outside. But what I thought is on the inside with that gloss, that means you can put soaps in, sweeties in, whatever, and it's not gonna like, you know make your box soggy. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is what they come like. So all the scarring's done, all you've got to do, and I'll just quickly show you that in a minute, is fold it together and decorate it. So I've made eight of these in no time at all. And I've used the beautiful new Subtles Colour DSP stack. It's in a 6x6, six six. it's in your catalogue. And you can get it in in colours um, for both years. You can get it in, this one is the Subtles, you can get neutrals, Brights and regals so that you can have everything coordinated and you've got this really simplistic background. So um, I'll try and think what some of these colours are. That's so saffron. That is uh, Copacabana. That one is Balmy Blue. That is Blushing Bride. This one is the new, is it Petal Pink? I want to say Petal Pink. That one is Highland Heather. I'm going to do a um, Calypso Coral and the other thing that I just want to draw your attention to is how I've used different things to wrap around the box so here I've used um, you know uh, mini sequins here I've used the um, very vanilla lace stamping up lace this one is the gold cord so I've used different ones to try and show you. This is from the tea room. Um, you get a pack of two. One is this colour and one is um, very vanilla. And then these I've used the spotty dotty tool ribbon. And I think there are some. Now these buttons are old. Oh, the some that I just had in my stash. They retired of those. But you can use anything. But I just thought buttons looked really nice. Natalie's used the true gentleman buttons in hers. They look lovely. If you don't have buttons, use faceted gems. Um, you know, so let's have a look, quickly show you what we've done. So let's move these all out of the way. So I've created those in no time at all. So you get these, as I say, you get them in a pack of eight. They're very inexpensive. Um, let me get my bone folder. Very, very inexpensive. And yeah, we can all make, well, most people can make pizza boxes themselves. However, this is, you know, it's not um, Whisper White. This is thick card. So these are very sturdy. It's proper, you know, box. But you can add your lovely handmade element by how you decorate them. And this is just one idea. You know, there are an infinite ways of doing them. Um, so let's think of ideas while I'm folding what you can put in these mini note cards. You can cut up um, printer paper and make uh, notepad stacks. You can put um, sweeties in. You could put post-it note blocks in, a big block of post-it notes. Tea lights will fit in here. You could put some nice jewel, uh, tissue in and put jewellery in, like these little bracelets that I've had. Let me just take that off. That would fit in. So like some little bracelets wrapped in tissue, that would be really nice and putting it back on because I like it. Lots and lots of ideas. Um, 
samples of makeup you know sometimes you can get mini lipsticks and stuff or little mini nail polishes you could there's all oh, so many different ideas um i think they're awesome and of course you can make some little mini matching note cards so there it just all folds together like so and then that shuts slots inside each other and it all fits together super lovely and you've got a perfect box every time there's no wasting cardstock because you've scarred it wrong or cut it wrong it's all done for you so it's perfect and you know if you're in a rush or you're not confident at making boxes it's perfect so i am using the delightful daisy which has carried over into the new catalogue. Lots of stuff has carried over, so if you didn't get a hold of it last time, you've still got a chance to get it, and you can get a coordinating punch. I love stamps and punches that go together. So we're going to use the daisy, we're going to use the sentiment, and I'm going to use the little um, middle bit. So here we have Calypso Coral, which is also in the Subtles. And if I just show you, this DSP is double-sided and the other sheets that you get have got smaller dots on, okay? So we've got a 6x6 six six sheet, we've got uh, some Whisper White for the sentiment and coloured underneath to go underneath, which is also Calypso Coral. And this measures 1 and 1 eighth by 3 and 3 quarters, 3 and 3 quarters, and that measures the same. So one and one eighth by three and three quarters. If you cut that, you will have room to stamp your sentiment and then we're going to make it into tails. So I just need to quickly cut my DSP. So a massive thank you to everybody that sent me cards and things this week. It's really helped my mojo, which has done one. It's gone on its holidays. <laughs> So this wants to be three and a quarter by three and a quarter and the off cuts save them. You could make um, quite a few note cards with that or you could make some tags. Don't waste it. Three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Save that to one side. And then because I'm using the matte side of the box, I can just very simply use um, snail i'm just getting my glue dots which i didn't um have ready i want my stamping up ones i've got some stamping up ones and i've got some cheap ones and the cheap ones are rubbish are those are my stamping up ones i need my stamping up ones i don't like there they are i've got some cheap ones that i picked up from somewhere just to give them a try and you know there is a saying if you buy cheap you buy twice and I ended up going and thinking oh these are rubbish and had to go and order some stamping up ones anyway so I've wasted my money buying the cheap glow dots so I'm using um, snail here right up to the edge we don't want it peeling off and looking a mess okay so I'm going to layer that up on there as straight-ish as I can. There we go. And then you put your lovely item in, whatever you're putting in, you know, your sweeties or your... You could put a gift card in there wrapped up in tissue. There's so many things you could do and they fit together lovely. You don't have to have something tied round if you don't want to close it. But I'm going to. I'm going to use the lovely dotter. Am I? No, I might use this actually. I think I might use some of this. Shall I? I don't know if I want the dotter. I quite like that dotter. I'm going to go and get it. Oh, excuse me for not being prepared and having my dotty tool. Um, so yeah, what's it called? Let's have a look. Polka dot tool ribbon. It's lovely. When I first saw it, I thought, oh, I'm not keen on that. I don't like how it feels. It's going to stick to everything. But you know what? It makes lovely bows and it's really, really pretty. So, yeah, we're going to use that. Okay. So, uh, what I need now is some... Some... <laughs> I've not got my card. <gasps> whisper white. My whisper white card. There we go. <laughs> I'm getting my exercise running from one side at craft room to other because I've totally forgot to get half of the stuff out. 
I was like, oh, I'm really, really prepared. I'm doing really, really well. And then, no, actually, Amanda, you're not. <laughs> you're rubbish. Right, so I'm using Clipso Coral. Now, this I am using the old stamp pads. I do have lots and lots of the new ones. But what I'm going to do is I'm not just going to go out and buy all of the new ink pads. I'm going to replace them as and when, uh, you know, they need replacing. And I shall carry on using what I have until they are as dry as a bone. <laughs> right, so, delightful days there. Stamp it so you've got a, a petal facing north and a petal facing south, like so. And then you'll find it easier when you stick the punch in. And I'm doing two and I'm going to layer them up. Okay. And then I do just have the little fancy funny bit that make goes in the centre. I can't think of the word for that middle bit. It's gone. Somebody botanical can tell me. <laughs> that funny bit in the middle. Okay, now I have stamped that. I'm going to see if I do have a button that will fit, but if not, then I've got that stamped, that stamped bit. So it's fine. I'll leave that out actually because I'll just quickly switch over and stamp my sentiment. So I've got my card stuck here. I love, this is my one of my favourite thank you stamps, just because of the lovely font. So I'm going to stamp it quite close to this edge, not right up against it, but quite close, because I just want room to make some little tails at that end. Um, so we don't want it central, is what I mean. You want it kind of off to the left. Okay. There we go. Look at that, isn't that lovely? So I can put my ink away now, I'm done with that, and what I'm going to do is just get both of them together, one on top of the other, and I'm going to cut my tails by hand. I'm not using my banner punch, which I could, but I'm not going to. So cut down the middle, and then from the corner to the middle, and from the corner to the middle. Okay, not bothered if it's not perfect. Just give that a minute to dry. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick them both together but kind of like off centre like so. Okay. So I'll just put some bit of snail just to hold them together in the position that I want them. Which is about there. Okay. Oh that ain't stuck. Come on, don't be naughty. There we go. Right, so that's stuck. So you get it like that and then you get hold of it in that, in your thumb there and push it back so you've got a ledge there, okay? And then make sure your ink's dry first. Curl it with your bone folder and smoosh it up, okay? It might look creased up, it's fine, it doesn't matter. Um, I just need my perky tool. I'm just going to stick a glue dot just under there just because I want that tail to sit exactly where I want it. Okay, so we'll put that to one side and we will work on our daisy. So, slide it in, line it up, it's quite simple. It's a nice, I like this flower punch, it's not difficult. You line it up straight away, there's no, you know, trying to figure out and drawing diagrams on your stamps. Then release it and slide away because these spiky bits can get caught in there. Now if they do, just keep punching and punch your way out. <laughs> just, you know, don't start thinking it's stuck and ragging your paper, just keep punching. Okay, so I'll just line that up nicely like so and then just slide it out no problem easy peasy right i can move that out of the way now and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to just gently curl those petals with a may burn further there we go there we go I love, uh, sometimes, you know, projects, you don't have to be complicated. Make it easy for yourself so you've got more time on making things look pretty. <laughs> I 
Right, so I'm using glue dots here, and I'm going to put a glue dot right in the centre of there, like so. And then I'm going to layer up in between the gaps, overlapping like so, to give myself a nice full flower. Flip them petals up, okay. Let's see if I've got a button that will fit, because I, I think I've used most of them. Um, let's have a look. I think the ones that I've got left are a little bit big. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like those ones. Let's have a look. What else have I got? I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just borrow one off of... No, I can't borrow one off of there because I want to take a photo of it. I'll tell you what I'll do as an alternative. Because I don't have any buttons left, this is what I'm going to do. Should have checked had enough buttons for the whole project so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little thingy center thingy again and I'm going to stamp one there okay and then I'm going to get my I think it's the three quarter inch no it isn't I need the half is it the three quarter or the half I think it will be the half half inch circle punch Yes, and punch that out. Okay. So this is what you do if you haven't got any buttons. Um, dimensional. Dimensional. On the back of there. Get it nice and central so you can't see any of it when it's stuck on. And then add that to the centre just to give a little bit of extra dimension. I know it's the same as the picture that's underneath, but it just gives that little bit of 3D, doesn't it? Okay. Fluff them up a bit. So, my tool. I'm going to cut myself a length of tool. I've got loads of this stuff, so don't shout at me if I waste a bit. Okay. <laughs> so... We're going to wrap it around there, like so, and then we're going to come up here. Let me just, uh, let me just pull it and slide it around a bit, else I'm going to be wasting quite a lot there. We don't want to be wasting too much. So there we go. So I've wrapped it around that corner, and then it's gone around the back, and I've brought each end around here. Now I'm going to tie it in a double knot because then it's easier to tie it in a bow. It slides off pretty easy, so don't worry. And then I'm going to tie it in a bow. It's quite forgiving as well as this stuff. Um, if your bow's a bit messy, um, it doesn't matter. It's lovely. As I say, I wasn't keen on it when I first saw it. I was a bit like, oh, I don't know if I like that. But when you work with it, it's super pretty. Okay, let me just pull that down a bit, fluff that up a bit, and then trim my tails off. Like so, there we go, lovely jubbler. Right, so now I'm going to get my daisy um, with another dimensional on the back of there. Get off. Stick that on the corner, fluff that up a bit, and then we get in my sentiment. We've pinched that end so that's kind of like a flat lip, and then we ruch in that bit up. So I'm going to put lots of snail on there. We're going to just tuck it underneath the le the petals there, okay? And then we're going to when that's Make sure that's nice and firm down. Then we're going to just push that up. So physically push it upwards so it looks like in a bend. And attach it to the lid of the box with some more glue dots. Okay. I tend to use two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my glue dots on the corner of the box there. Okay. And I'm going to push up my banner where I want it. Press that on there. And here presto. There you go. 
I think that's awesome, I love it. Like I say, if you get the Subtles paper stack bundle, is it about nine or ten pound? You get absolutely loads, and it's in six by six. Um, and you know, you can make them in all sorts of colours. So I did all eight. So I'm done now. These are again going for teacher gifts, and I am now. I've done. I've done. I'm done with them. Um, I'll have to take the ribbons off to put the goodies in. But there you go. There's all of my all of my boxes are all done. <laughs> so give it a try. I hurt you like that, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye.